Welcome back. Captain Dan here again. Now I'm printing 3D airplanes, radio-controlled airplanes on the 3D printer my wonderful girlfriend Linda bought me for Christmas. And I'm having a ball. Didn't start too smooth though. I got some files and started printing the airplanes and the parts looked beautiful. I didn't know what I was doing. I had trees turned on here to uh, put supports in. And the part looked beautiful. I was excited. So I started printing the whole plane, playing with different materials, thinking I was doing a great job. The only problem was this piece weighed a ton. The whole plane was supposed to come in around 1,100 grams with 2,000 grams of thrust. Turns out there's a foaming um, filament you can use. And I bought it and I printed with it. And instead of losing 55% of the weight, I lost four tenths of an ounce on my first try. On my next try, I learned how to change the flow and the temperature and the speed. And I started losing approximately 55% of the material and weight. So I was left with the 45%, which worked out well. I started printing all these parts and they looked like I could build an airplane that flies. So I finished printing the parts and then glued it together with um, CA glue. And then I was very proud of this finished product and I was ready to fly. This is what happened. Well, what happened is the plane hit the ground and it broke these control horns off the elevators. The elevators, aileron elevator pieces there were made of foam same material as the plane, and those horns broke right off when it hit the ground. All right, Here's another view of it. One, two, three, and then this time you're going to see it extremely the confused the power me the, the because I didn't power realize power that's what happened at first. Get, let me get away from Turns sure. out that okay, I live in a senior up. community, and I'm going to have to find younger people to throw my airplanes because none of us move well enough oh. to do an overhand wow. pitch. Wow. That was full. Okay, let's full talk. Aileron and it didn't let's go. Let's talk. What happened? So I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Extremely Bob. confused. So the plane's reprinted, but this time I put wheels on it, which brought it up to fifteen hundred grams. I think it will still fly well. Just one of wheels with, on uh, a vertigo. Two thousand grams of thrust. Here, my friend Bob, who did the programming, he was a very good programmer with Spectrum products and he's taxiing it around. Uh, it had pretty go pretty control. straight. There's got to be a line. Uh, it's not perfect, but uh, you can steer it. And he did a good job of steering it. And it appears to have quite a bit of power. I do think that um, it's going to fly really well. It looks like it's taken off. That right looked pretty there good. Without much trouble at all. Where are you? So okay, we got to adjust tomorrow. It. That's good though. Bring her back. Morning, I think at about 9:30 we're going to take it to the field and try to fly it. And uh, if I'm lucky, um, I'll have a nice video to post. But even if I just have a horrific crash, excellent. Again, I will post it. So if you're interested and you want to see it fly or die tomorrow, I'll post a video. Bye bye.